Well, there's a lot of numbers going around right now. Yeah. Obviously, there's a big FEMA number where FEMA is asking for a significant amount of that money. Um, insurance paybacks are asking for a lot. Uh, we, we don't know at this point. Um, is it fair? My, my hope and prayer is that people can be restored for what they need to get their properties back in place and get their lives back on the road. Um, it doesn't seem right. I think I wish they had taken us separately from all the other fires. You look at each of them separately in their situation, but for some reason the judge didn't, and the courts aren't at this point, and they're trying to lump it all together. That's where we're at. Um, I don't like it, but I don't know what we do. We, we fight, but right. I don't know what we do at this point. Um, so, you know, are we, how, are, how is the sales going on, on the ridge? Are we, are we seeing... We know that folks are rebuilding, some folks are rebuilding, but are we seeing uh, maybe like private investors coming in and buying up property up there in Paradise that, that maybe uh, that they hadn't owned before? I guess this is what I'm getting at. Could we see the landscape really change of Paradise? Is it going to be a lot different than it used to be? Could there be more investors in, in the area? Paradise will be different because it's going to be a lot of new homes. There were homes up there before that were built in the 30s, 40s, 50s. And, and so there were a lot of older homes. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of new homes. So that would be a, a big change. Um, as far as big investors, I, I don't know. I haven't seen that. People keep asking that question. I'm not so sure that there's a lot of big investors because there's so many little private homes and private lots that they would have to, they'd have to buy. Um, but there are people investing in Paradise. Um, I'm talking to people all the time that are moving from other areas and they're seeing paradise and they're going, I want to live here. This is exciting what's going on here. It's a brand new town coming up. PG&E is going underground. Right. You guys are, are changing the whole landscape here. And this is a place I want to be because it's a, a new startup. So a lot of excitement about the future. Uh, businesses are doing well. The ones I talk to are doing very well and uh, are beating their expectations in many cases. Not all of them, but, but a bunch of them are. And uh, that's exciting to see. Uh, newly appointed mayor, first of all, congratulations. Second of all, what is what would you like to say directly to the folks of Paradise now that you are their mayor? Uh, come back. Come back to town. Uh, this is home for many of us, and this is a place where we want you to rebuild, and you should rebuild. It's going to be a, a incredible place to be. So um, this is going to be a year of rebuilding. You're putting things back. We got a little more cleanup to do, but we're starting to turn the corner and, and turn Paradise around. So, um, consider consider making Paradise your home again. Great. Anything else you'd like to add? Um, no. I, the one big thing that's coming up here soon is the uh, um, the brick building, our resiliency center that is going to be opening here pretty quick. That's exciting, and that's going to be a big part in our our comeback is having that building for all the different agencies to be in there for one place to come and be able to ask questions. So that's pretty exciting. One last question that I just kind of thought of: How how is the aid going? The the federal aid, the state aid, still coming into the to the town? Are you still getting some of that aid still coming in today, or has that tapered off a little bit? What's the financial situation? The financial situation is is you know we're. We are getting help. We have the government there, feds, and, and state there every day working with us. We have, they have meetings all the time going through stuff. So, yes, they are there. And, and, and the funding is, is, um, is coming in as we need it. It's not out ahead of us, but as we need it, it's coming in. Um, in some cases, we're fighting, and we have to prove our case. But I think that's the way we want government to work. We don't want just money going out for, for no reason at all. So we're, we're fighting for it. We're giving them reasons that we need it and showing it and proving it. But, uh, but they're stepping up. And so far, it's been a great partnership. Great.